My name is Sandy Leatherman, and this is my partner, Brooke. We're here today to share with you that someday you will die, and that by making friends with this truth, you are part of a cultural shift that can change the world. And if we're going to meet our children whole and fully, we need to do the same with ourselves. We need to see ourselves as perfect amidst imperfection, and also willing to take next steps in our evolutionary journey. When their cups are full and overflowing, Children will extend themselves for others, not out of obligation, but because they have full hearts to share. They have thoughtful minds to engage, and they have resourceful hands to touch the world with. You should depend on us to be the ones that do your will. And in the future, police officers have to become more resilient and accepting of societal values because they will change. Encourage support for those people, like in mental health, that have the training to be properly resourced and to get people off the streets and properly housed, food in their bellies, educated and working. That's what's going to reduce crime. And so when we think about the environment as a concept, we get a little caught up with this kind of thing. Where we have us, we're in this little bubble and we're in this substrate. We're like the, the orange wedge in the lime jello mold. We're held up there in this, in this bubble and you know, it's separate from us, it's this other thing. And I'm here to tell you that's not how it works. We have to start thinking about our ecosystem as our home. We have to start thinking about ourselves as connected, deeply, deeply connected. So all of the herbs that are grown in the products that I use, uh, the whole concept is to localize it. So they're all grown on local, diversified, organic farms, support the farmers by growing these. The wild bees and the honeybees get to forage on the plants, the medicinal plants. And when they've had their way with them, we then harvest and I have it locally distilled or I distill it myself. Then that hydrosol is used back into the bee colonies or in with the body products that we're making. So it's this whole kind of full circle community thing, which I like to see. By creating bee ecosystems in our communities, we're defining and establishing food security and sovereignty. Bees are a huge, huge key element to this. I think that our current problem is around having a culture of supreme competition. It's gone way out of hand. The, the actual archetype has degenerated. You know, we used to say, wow, it's really heroic. We really love the hero and we worship the hero. Well, the hero archetype has degenerated as well. The hero is one who went out, sacrificed, or at least risked his life on the values of justice, truth, freedom, dignity of man, and so on. Now, Carl Jung said all uh, neurosis in all of his years of experience towards the end of his life, he said, came down to the lack of meaning. If we can help people get together and, and learn these skills when there's a conflict and they can take that home and into their lives at work and with their families and with their friends, then we're building a community that has greater resilience. We don't need to recreate the wheel. But what we do need to do is reassume responsibility as communities and individuals. We need to take back responsibilities we've given away to solve these problems and develop our own community-based plans and economies. I do this and I think we should continue to do this for the children. 